in the fallout from Roe v. Wade being overturned. Women can once again get elective abortions here in Utah. A judge ruling late this afternoon the state abortion trigger law should be put on hold for at least a couple of weeks. We have team coverage on the debate over abortion rights. Ashley Moser with one woman's unique perspective of ending one pregnancy and then giving up another baby for adoption. But we start with Debbie Worthen and reaction from today's court decision. Debbie? Well, that 14-day restraining order means that elective abortions are once again legal here in Utah. And those for and against abortion rights here in the state had plenty to say about that decision. I am going to issue the temporary restraining order. Um, principal consideration on a TRO of this nature is preservation of the status quo. With that decision, abortions are once again legal in Utah for at least 14 more days. Planned Parenthood is so relieved. Carrie Galloway is the CEO of Planned Parenthood in Utah. It was devastating on Friday morning to hear that the Supreme Court had overturned 50 years of precedent. Utah is one of eight states that immediately implemented a trigger law when the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade last Friday. With that in place, elective abortions were no longer protected by federal law. And with the trigger, even some legal abortions came with new requirements. Dan McKay sponsored House Bill 174 that includes a provision stating abortions in cases of rape and incest can now only be performed once the crime is reported to law enforcement. His statement after today's ruling in favor of pushing pause on the trigger law says in part, statistically, 8.2 babies are aborted every day in Utah. Sadly, Judge Stone sentenced 115 babies to death. Pro-life Utah's Mary Taylor hopes the state courts will uphold the near total ban on abortions here. We are deeply saddened uh, that the third district court uh, it put the injunction on Utah's trigger bail. It really saddens us that babies will die, dozens of babies will die as a re result of this decision. As for Planned Parenthood that called for the hearing, they restarted procedures in their clinics immediately. I am feeling good that we're doing the right thing for the people of Utah. Just hours before that Utah judge put the pause on the trigger law, the same thing happened to the trigger law in place in Louisiana.